Random variables are associated with probability distribution functions. A probability distribution function describes the probability of a random variable taking certain outcome values. So when x is a random variable that can only take on discrete values, i.e. not continuous values, then the random variable is described by a discrete probability distribution and the variable is called a discrete random variable. So flipping a coin or rolling a die, those are discrete outcome variables. There's no such thing as rolling a 2.2 or a 3.4. We're always going to roll one of the discrete possible outcomes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. There's no room for outcomes in between those discrete values. And therefore, uh, we, need, we are going to have a discrete probability distribution function for that random variable. So we're going to define the probability distribution function with the letter f. x is the random variable. So the probability distribution function for the random variable x, given some experiment w, like flipping a coin in this case, is equal to just the probability that x equals w. So the value of the probability function is just the probability that x will equal w. So for a random variable defined by a coin toss, we'll have that f of x, sorry, the, func uh, the probability distribution function will equal a half when w is heads, it'll equal a half for w equals tails, and it equals zero otherwise. Let's draw this out. We can draw a graph for each probability distribution function. In this graph, along the bottom are the different potential outcome, outcomes of the random variable. In this case, the random variable is a zero when w is a heads, and a one when w is a tails. And in each case, we know the probability of the random variable being a 0 or a 1. And since this is a coin toss, we've got a 50% chance, so the probability is equal to 1 half. So the probability of x equaling 0 is 1 half, and the probability of x equaling 1 is 1 half. Now, with the discrete probability distribution, we're done. That's the function. We've just drawn it out. Let's see another example. What about for rolling a die? Here, the different <coughs> outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and the probability associated with each outcome is 1 sixth. Now, these are all random processes. What about stochastic processes? 